Hello, middle school power searchers. We are on module three. Now, you have just finished filtering your search, so you went through and did that activity. And we're on making the most of your operators, so let's go there. Okay, so a couple things to know here. When we're making the most of our operators, and an operator by definition is a rule. So, three common rules that we're going to use in this are the terms and, and, or, or not. Now when we do these and we put them into a search term, and I'll demonstrate this in a second, they have to be capitalized. If it's a lowercase and, or, or not, it's just searching it as a word. But as soon as you put it in capitalization, then Google knows, actually any search engine will know, that it becomes a rule. And we're looking for for example, pup, the words puppy and kitten. So when you do puppy and, capital A and D, kind of like this one down here, you will get both terms in the search results. If we use or, you could get either one or the other. You could technically get both, but not necessarily. And then finally, we have not. We could, we could, Let's just say that in our search for puppies, we're also getting related links to kittens because they're both uh, pets. Well, we want to eliminate any references to the word kitten. Please note that Google doesn't necessarily rely on the word not as much, and they rely on the minus sign, and I'll demonstrate all of these. So, let's take a look at this. So this is a search for the terms puppy and kitten. You'll notice that A and D is capitalized. Now you've got, we've got pictures, and we've got images and videos, and content related to both puppies and kittens in the same snippet or in the same search, so they're going to look for those. And the closer they are into the content of the website, the more likely they are to get found up there. Now if I change this to OR, and again we're going to use all caps, now we get a little bit different of information. There's some different text and some different, different results, as in should I shop for, um, you might have some content related to just the word puppy, you may have one just related to kittens, and sometimes puppies or kittens together. We can find, um, instead of using the word not, we're going to use the minus sign. Now you'll notice there's no space between the word uh, and the minus sign. We want to keep those connected because the minus is then connected to eliminating the word kitten. So you have to make sure that the, whenever you're using an operator like the minus sign, that has to be eliminated. So now we're only getting references to just puppies and there are no references of any kind to the word kitten in here. By the way, the, the plus sign, this is a pro tip here, doesn't work. That takes you to references to Google Plus on kittens. So if we go to Google Plus, then you'd be able to get uh, content there. So don't use the plus sign, it's only the minus, okay? So we've got and, or, or not. And remember when we use not, we're gonna use the minus sign. That eliminates any references to that word that it's connected to. And we also always wanna make sure that, that, that it is connected here. This is an incorrect, and you can click on both of these links. We did another search here for the terms Chippewa and Ojibwe. So Chippewa and Ojibwe. So let's say we're doing a little research on those two Native American tribes and we want to find information on either one of those. If we search Chippewa, Chippewa and Ojibwe, just those two terms individually, here's what we're going to get. Whereas Chippewa or Ojibwe, you're getting different results. So if we're looking for something that we can that we're doing some research or need to know some more on for an assignment. Those are important terms, okay? One more thing to demonstrate the minus sign is um, this band, The Roots. Great rap band, they are the house band on Jimmy Fallon. So I just typed in The Roots. So let's say that we want to eliminate just the word, uh, that we're just searching for Roots, right? Well, we're still getting some reference to the band and we want to eliminate any reference to the band. So what we can do is we can do reference minus band and we know that, well, it's also music too. So now I've eliminated the word, the, bird, the words band and music from any reference of the search. So now you're only getting, looks like there's a restaurant called Roots, there's a Roots Market, you've got some scientific information on Roots and images. So, but there's no 
content related to Roots the Band. Okay, So sometimes you can use multiples. And you can use multiples of and and or as well. You can use this or this or this or this and this or this. So feel free to mix those up a little bit if you'd like. All right, a couple other things. Last thing I want to show you is the quotations. So quotations are really important. When we put quotations around something, the quotations essentially mean that we want to keep that sentence string or that query that we're searching for intact. Typically, if we would just search the words, um, like this is a search that you might look up on your, let's say you get this on your computer at home, this DNS signature failed to verify. Um, it's going to search for those individual words in any order. Okay, so it could be mixed up. And that's where you get these ellipses, these little dots here. That means that you get Windows XP, ellipses, signature fail, ellipses, something else. That means that those words are not together. But if I were to put quotations around the error and then search, well now, DNS signature failed to verify. It's that in ex exact, right there, is in connection. And then the later than that found the word Windows XP. So it is likely that this reference here is exactly related to what you're looking for. So if you're ever looking for something very specific, like a error, uh, song lyric, famous quote, math problems that you want the content to be in exactly that order and kept together, make sure you use quotation marks. All right, now what we're gonna do, so we've finished the operator section. It's pretty simple, move on, go ahead and practice those and move on to quiz three. Here's your quiz three, a little uh, fishing or hunting for some information. You've got some questions in there, so dig into those and see how you can do. And then uh, when you're done, uh, move on to module four. All right, good luck.